General Hospital's Jonathan Jackson shares music to Lucky fans' ears. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. Last week, General Hospital's Jonathan Jackson reunited with his fellow castmates, Steve Burton, Jason, and Bradford Anderson, Spinelli, during their podcast and not only talked about how his Port Charles return came to be but what could possibly be in store for Lucky's future. Anderson noted that with Lulu, Han, Nicholas gone, will Lucky be Laura's only family in play? Though Jackson believes that might be the case, one can never know. I'll have a lot of catching up to do with all of that, he shared, having the time away and not knowing many details about the stories and such. Jackson feels as though he'll be able to bring the last 10 years of his life and incorporate it into his work. And Bradford made a good point. Lucky has been gone so long that no one can say, Lucky wouldn't do that. Because at this point, no one knows who Lucky is anymore or what he would do. When asked if his music would be incorporated into storylines, Jackson replied, I would be open to it, for sure. He then talked about his mentor, Anthony Geary, and how much he learned from him, because Geary never stopped learning. He had the posture of a student. I want to have that posture, Jackson stated. I'm coming back to General Hospital as a student. I want to learn things from all the people I work with, and I'm very thankful to Tony and Ginny for kind of instilling that in me at a young age. Watch the full interview below for that and more surrounding Jackson's much-anticipated return. And stay tuned for what's ahead. Lucky, huh? The General Hospital hero has been anything born to run. There was never any doubt that adventure was going to follow Lucky Spencer wherever he went. In 1985, he was welcomed into the family of Luke and Laura Spencer, the super couple whose exploits included saving the world from being turned into a popsicle by the nefarious Cassidine clan. New kid on the block. After the Spencers spent years trying to stay one step ahead of mobster Frank Smith, Lucky, Jonathan Jackson, and his folks finally relocated from the Canadian diner in which they've been hiding out to Port Charles. Which wasn't nearly as bad as it sounded. The food at Kelly's Bobby's is terrific. Sister Packed. In 1996, Lucky's baby sister Lulu was diagnosed with aplastic anemia. If only any of her relatives had been able to donate the bone marrow that would save the tot's life. Or if only there had just happened to be Dunno, a spare relative that almost no one knew about. Surprise. In 1996, Lucky discovered that while mom was being held captive by the Cassavanes, she'd given birth to his half-brother, Nicholas, then Tyler Christopher. Not only that, but the prince's bone marrow was just the ticket to remake Lulu as the picture of health. Too bad the newfound siblings were insta-rivals. Best friends forever? Ah, Lucky probably would have remained closer than close with his first Port Charles pal, Alan and Monica Quartermain's adopted daughter Emily, had she not been made a victim of the text message killer long after Amber Tamblin had left the role to Natalia Livingston. First love. After Audrey Hardy's granddaughter Elizabeth Weber was raped in 1998, Lucky looked after her, and despite the nightmarish circumstances of their bonding, the teenagers fell head over heels for one another. A year later, they even exchanged unofficial marriage vows in a church on Valentine's Day. Till death to us part. As pretty much everyone in Port Charles is at some point or another, Lucky was presumed doomed in 1999. But he was fine. He was just busy being brainwashed by the supervillain tag team of Helena Cassidine and Cesar Faison. Oh, and being recast with Jacob Young, who'd played Rick on Bold and Beautiful. The third time's the charm. When Liz realized that Lucky had never managed to remember his love for her, she called off their wedding. He soon refocused his attentions on Summer Halloway, the ill-fated new squeeze whose murder prompted Luke's son, then Greg Vaughn, to join the police academy. Simon, just say no to drugs. Following Lucky and Liz's marriage at last, 
An on-the-job injury left the cop hooked on painkillers and susceptible to the charms of a conniving Maxie Jones. When Lucky was busted for two-timing, Liz retaliated by getting horizontal with on-again slash off-again sweeter Jason Morgan. True lies. After Lucky completed rehab, he convinced Liz to undivorce him. But the damage had already been done. He wound up dating Jason's ex, Sam McCall, but agreeing to keep the secret that his and Liz's son Jake had actually been fathered by his former wife's favorite hitman. Next stop, Disasterville. When Liz became jealous of Lucky's fling with Emily's twin sister, Rebecca Shaw, she kissed Nicholas to turn her ex green with envy. Instead, what it did was set the stage for her to actually sleep with her sometime half-brother-in-law on the very day that Lucky proposed again. Bad. Luck of the Irish. In 2010, Lucky posed as Irish hitman Ronan O'Reilly in hopes of identifying a baddie nicknamed the Balkan. Mostly, what the cop's undercover work did, though, was get him attached to Serafin McKenna, who he married so that she could obtain a green card. Last call. After Liz learned in 2011 that Lucky, not Nicholas, was son Aiden's father, she kept that info to herself in the wake of Jake's death. But when it came to light that Luke had been drunk driving the car that had killed the boy, Liz disclosed the truth to her ex in order to keep him from diving into the bottle himself. And that was that. Following Syobin's murder at the hand of mobster Anthony Zakara, Lucky struggled mightily to avoid going into another downward spiral. But despite Liz's presence in Port Charles, as well as Aiden, Cameron, and Jake's, he took off to do some serious, and seriously long-term, soul-searching. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel. Thank you.